guys welcome back I know it's been a little while since I've posted here on YouTube but I'm very excited to be back today's video is gonna be the long-awaited nursery tour I know this has been highly requested um, pretty much ever since Ivan and I found out that we were pregnant so I am so excited that it's finally finished and I can finally show you guys like what it looks like so before we like jump into the tour I just want to say that I know we kind of went a little overboard we are first-time parents and we are very very excited to be having baby Milo um, and I don't know I just I'm we're so excited so yes I do know it's a little overboard and I just wanted to like warn you guys <laughs> in advance um, but like what we don't use we will definitely be giving away to family members friends or donating or we might just save it because who knows if child number two will be coming soon don't get excited I'm just joking I don't even know <laughs> but we definitely will make sure that the clothes um, that we don't use or that he grows out of goes to a very nice loving place and they are going to be very well loved also everything that you see in the nursery just about everything I will link down below because I'm pretty sure I know where we got the majority of like the things in his nursery so I will link it down below it's probably gonna be a very long list um, but yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I am so excited to not only do makeup and art and lifestyle and clothing but to like bring motherhood to my channel because I am a first-time mom guys I I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> um, but I'm very excited to like do this journey and take you guys along with me so I hope you guys enjoy also leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want me to do like a what's in my hospital bag what's in Milo's hospital bag type of video um, I would really love to get your opinion for all of you moms out there and some of like your advice just in case I'm like missing certain things or if I'm overpacking so please let me know because I definitely want to hear from you guys I thought it would be very fun to um, like I guess show you guys like the baby gear that we've gotten so far that we've bought and received as gifts and to like I guess show you guys everything and then like six months to a year from now do a video and say hey this is what we actually really loved and we didn't even use some of this stuff so let me know if you guys want me to do that too um, because I will be more than happy to do that. <laughs> But welcome back to my channel again, and I'm so excited to be here. It's it's about to be it's about to be lit on my channel. I have so many ideas in mind. As long as you guys want me to be here on YouTube, I will be. So thank you guys so much for all of your love and support, and I hope you enjoy the tour. All right, so this is like I guess the entrance to Milo's room. Straight ahead is his dresser. Um, and then to the right of that is his rocking chair and then also on the right is his crib and his first closet and then on the left side is his changing table another pretty decent sized closet and his bookshelf so as I said before on the right right here is his crib um, we wanted to put it here because we didn't want to put it by the window because it does get pretty hot here in El Paso especially in the summertime so we wanted his crib to be facing I guess the inside of the house so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is his name Ugh, I love the way these letters turned out this is exactly the font style the size and the color and the material that we wanted his like name to be above his crib um, and I got this from this shop on Etsy and the girl was so so nice and very helpful and I will link her information and her shop in the description box below I'll go ahead and just link everything that is in his nursery below for you guys I believe the letters I think they're 10 inches or 11 inches um, tall so they're pretty big and right here this little guy is his baby monitor um, it, we just wanted it to go over the crib we were gonna put it up on a shelf but we just decided to mount it to the wall we actually want a different one but this one it works good it just doesn't like show the whole crib I just got this little tubing right here I think from walmart.com just to cover the cord because 
I hate seeing cords. I don't like them to just dangle. So we just put that up and it just sticks to the wall with like some sticky tape it came with and it was just a couple bucks. So below that obviously is his crib. So for his room we wanted it to be sort of like a neutral theme like grays and whites and just a hint of baby blue. Um, but for his crib it's mainly gray and white. <laughs> so we love his comforter so much. It is from a brand called Levtex Baby. I think <laughs> pretty sure that's what it's called um, but I didn't want his room to be too cartoonish but we did want to have some elephants in it so when I found this I was like oh my god it's so perfect so yeah that is where his comforter is from and this is what it looks like on the other side and then on top we just have his stroller blanket which we're gonna be using in his stroller it is a Burberry blanket just a white blanket and it's very soft and it's pretty it's like warm but it's kind of thin too so I think it'll be perfect in his stroller so his sheets the elephant watercolor sheets are from a store called carousel designs and we fell in love with these so these are on here right now um, he has a lot more sheets but these are just what we have on it for right now so you probably are like what the heck is this pineapple raft looking boat <laughs> thing in his bed and this is called a docket hot this is the deluxe um, the smallest size and what it does is it like it can cradle your baby um, I know you can let them sleep in it I'm not sure if we're gonna let him sleep in this um, I just don't know if I feel comfortable with that but we do like it to have in the living room so he can play and just lay there and be with us um, and then you can buy this actual little like rope thing separate and the little hanging toys so we just thought it was cute um, for when we want to have him on the couch but for right now we just have it in his crib. His crib bumper, this white knotted crib bumper thing that's like lining the entire inside of his crib is from a brand called Malamu. Oh my gosh I probably said that wrong but um, I will link it down below. It is so cool. We had a different bumper on there um, but it wasn't like staying right and it was super tall and I just I didn't like the way it looked with this crib um, so yeah we got this one his mobile right here is also from the same little collection that his comforter is from this little guy right here in the corner it is just a little elephant that I got from my baby shower in Cincinnati and next to that he's holding like a little knotted ball and that is also from that brand Malamu that makes um, this bumper and this little giraffe guy is so cute we got it when we did his second 4D ultrasound and Ivan picked it out and it actually plays his heartbeat So to the left of his crib is closet number one and so at the top we have just some stuff that we just want to I guess store away we don't want to be just sitting out so we put it up here let me get in closer so I can show you guys what all we have up there up here we just have um, some shopping cart covers a portable high chair this is um, a refill bags for his diaper little hamper that I will show you guys later his boppy pillow, some extra hangers, a little pillow to help us feed him, um, a play mat, another car cover, or cart cover, um, and then this is like a buckle meat. I'm not really sure what it does. I got it at a baby shower, but I think it just... I'm not sure. <laughs> I really don't know what it does. I gotta actually look it up. If you guys know, leave it in the comments below because I'm really confused. And then in this corner is an extra diaper bag, my baby Bajorn baby carrier, and then Ivan's baby carrier under that. So in this closet um, are all of his six to nine months plus, I think up to 18 months in here. I wanted to hang all of his shirts in onesies. I don't know, I just like having them all in hangers. I know some of them wore outfits, so I did take pictures before I like took the shorts off the hangers that matched the onesies. So I know exactly what goes with what, but I just like hanging it because I feel like it gets rid of a lot of the clutter and folding and just gives us more room in his dresser drawers. We went a little overboard. He's our first baby. Um, my parents don't have any grandkids. He's their first 
first and they went crazy too so I know we have like an excessive amount of clothes I totally know that guys we were just so excited and so was our family so yeah we have so much I mean but I like I oh I just love these onesies like seriously look at this like a little Ralph Lauren polo shirt I just can't even deal so freaking cute but yeah so I got these little labels I think from Amazon um, so it's really nice it labels all the clothes so I can see exactly what is what so underneath um, the onesies in this closet we have his little toy cubby which we love so much I think we got this off of Wayfair's website and they're stackable which was awesome so they're like nailed into each other and then we anchored them to the wall so that it doesn't tip as well on top are some of his toys. I think this is so cute. They're little like emotion eggs and they like teach him emotions. My mom got it for him. I just thought it was so cute. So we set them up there. And then right next to it is a Lego Star Wars character. Ivan made it from like this little puzzle that he got. Um, next to it are some Spidey toys <laughs> that Ivan also got for him. And then behind that is just another toy. And this bear is gonna teach him his ABCs and one, two, threes. His first little cubby are some toys, like some soft books and some soft little toys. Next to it are his mega building Lego blocks, I think is what you call them. Um, this is two bags of them. I believe you can get them at Walmart or Target. They're pretty cheap and we just filled up the whole Thing. So below that, um, we have his little tool toolbox that I even got him. <laughs> um, and then down here, oh my god, you guys have got to see this. Oh, my aunt got this for him. It's his first sports bag. If it'll focus, there we go. And it has his name on it, Milo. And then inside, it has little like sports balls I was like oh my god I just thought it was the cutest thing ever so we just have it down here in his little toy cubby and then back there are some puzzles like to teach him how to read analog time and his little doctor kit bag <laughs> and the fourth little cubby is a cute little Noah's Ark puzzle and then next to that this little shoe right here it is so cute you guys it teaches him how to tie his shoes and my mom got that for him and I just thought that was the cutest thing ever it'll I think it'll definitely come in handy and then another little like spinning little caterpillar puzzle for him to play with too that is what is in his first closet. To the left of his closet are some shelves, his rocking chair, and a little table. So the white shelf on top, the long white shelf, I got from Etsy. Um, that picture that says the best is yet to come, I think I got from at home. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there, but I like it for right now. Next to that picture is a little white elephant, and then I just have like a pacifier, a wooden pacifier like clip on there. I just thought it looked cute. And then next to that are some Hot Wheels that Ivan bought him. But below that is this elephant plaque right here. Um, I got it from Pottery Barn Kids. Um, I actually wasn't too happy with it because on the website it's like a very light distressed gray wood and then it came and it's just this super dark painted wood and there's like, it's not distressed at all. But it's okay, I'll just leave it. I wish it looked like how it did on the website, but it's fine. And then to the right of the little elephant cutout um, are his shoe shelves. Ugh, I love them so much. Um, the top are like Nike Cortez. Ivan has the same ones, so he wanted him to have matching ones. And then right here are some little Gucci walking shoes. Wait, they're not even walking shoes. Just, they're Gucci shoes. And then down here are some Giuseppe shoes. And this was actually a gift from the CEO of Beauty Bakery, so thank you so much, Cashmere. We love them. Let me get up super close so you guys can see <laughs> these shoes. These are the Giuseppes. These are his little Gucci's. Oh my god, I just love them. And here are one of his pair of Cortez. So right underneath the shelves are his rocking chair, the ottoman, and um, this cute little table that I got. And then just a fake plant. This fake plant is from Target. I wanted to add some plants to the room because I like the desert theme. But yeah, so we wanted to get stuff that would match the rest of our house. So this is kind of the theme of our house um so yeah we wanted it to be easy for us when he gets older we could use you know this furniture out in the living room or wherever we wanted to put it throughout our house 
So right next to his rocking chair, we have this little side table that I got from Overstock. Um, it's just like a gold table, and then it has like a glass top. Um, the lamp we got from Pottery Barn Kids. I haven't actually picked that out. And then we have a picture of us right there from my maternity shoot, which is my favorite picture of us that we've ever taken, actually. I believe the rocker is from Overstock. I like it because it like swivels and it rocks back and forth, and it's super, super comfortable. It's like a, it feels like a suede. I'm not sure, but it's very soft. <laughs> and then the pillow I think I got from At Home. This I think I got off of Etsy. It's kind of like his bumper his bumper, his crib bumper, so it kind of is like the same thing. And then the blanket that's on the rocking chair is from Pottery Barn Kids, and I believe it is the Monique Lillier blanket. This huge area rug that we got, it pretty much covers the entire floor. We wanted the floor to be very soft and comfortable, and I believe I got it from RugsUSA.com. Um, the ottoman, I think, I, I think I got it from Wayfair. Ugh, I forget, but I will link it down below. It's a little bit of a lighter gray than his rocker. I did not want them to be the same. I wanted them to be a little different. And this has like a different texture to it, but I just thought it was so cute because it's tufted, and I just like the look of that, and so did Ivan. The little rug that it's sitting on, the little faux fur rug, is from Target. Baby, hi, Liver. Hi, Liver Lou. <laughs> Libby has her own bed in here. She loves being in her brother's room, so we got her this little bed. I think we actually got it from Home Goods, and it was like 14 bucks. And she likes itty bitty tiny beds, so she just like snails up in there, and she loves it. So above his rocking chair and above his like changing table right here, we have these two windows, which is nice. That lets in a lot of like natural lights. That little guy is his baby monitor, and we just have the cord cover right there too. Above his dresser are these cute little elephant, I guess, paintings. Uh, I think they're painted. They kind of look like watercolors. It came in a set from Etsy, and then we just ordered frames from Target and put them in there. Underneath the little elephant drawings is his dresser um, that we got from, I think, Overstock.com. We love Overstock, guys. If you haven't noticed, they have so many great things on there. Um, and then this dresser we really liked because it has the handles on it, the silver handles, but it's like a glossy... And when he's older, I think he'll be able to use it too, so that's why we got this specific dresser. On top of his dresser, we have a picture of my stomach. <laughs> I think I was like... 24 weeks pregnant there um, this eye baby air it plays music and like has cool colors and stuff like that that was a gift from my aunt from my baby shower and this acrylic lamp we got from home goods we also got this little green plant like this fake grass from home goods too the welcome to my crib sign <laughs> was Ivan's idea we ordered the print off Etsy I think it was like three dollars and then just got a gold frame from Target and put it right there so then right next to the welcome to my crib little picture is this gold pineapple that we got from home goods or I'm sorry at home I think we got that from at home so next to the pineapple is a little candle that we will never light we just thought it looked nice next to the candle is the serenity star um, the reason why we got this is because mainly because it had a clock on it <laughs> and you can like put the times in of like his feeding like so his feeding times so we can like know who fed him last and what time and everything like that and then it also lights up white red or blue white when the temperature is good red when the temperature is too hot and then when it's too cold it'll turn blue and we just have his cute little aviators from Carter's right there that is everything that is on top of his dresser so let's get into his drawers so I'll start on the left side of his dresser so in the top drawer are all of his socks um, on this side, it's like neutrals, and no, none of them have been washed. Like I said before, I'm not going to wash them until it gets a little bit closer to him being born. Since I am 33 weeks, it'll probably be in the next few weeks that all of his stuff gets washed. Like I said, this is all like his neutral colored socks. So on the right are all of his like bright colored socks and his Rudolph slippers. And then in this little drawer I guess not drawer this little like cubby compartment is all of his mitts his little hand mitts I got all of these white organizers from Ikea 
and then you'll see some gray organizers as well and those are from Amazon and I'll make sure I link those below because they were not that expensive and they fit perfectly in these drawers moving on to the next drawer so these are all of his burp cloths like I said before guys I know we went a little overboard um, but he's our first baby and we got really excited um, so yeah these are his burp cloths on this side then these are some of his bibs right here there are a lot of them um, I, these are his Burberry bibs we just thought they were super cute and he's actually gonna wear this home from the hospital and um, if you guys want me to do like a what's in my hospital bag, what's in Milo's hospital bag, let me know. I would love to do a video for you guys on that. And then I would love to get your advice like for um, all you moms out there if I'm overpacking, what I'm forgetting and stuff like that. So leave me a comment below and let me know if you want me to do that too. Um, but I heard that these triangle bandana bibs are like really good and I heard they come in handy so... Um, we got a ton of those. My baby shower in Cincinnati, I'm telling you, we got so much stuff. It was amazing. And then these are more bibs too. These are like a lot of the colorful ones. And then my stepdad got him this Superman <laughs> abs bib, which I thought was super cute. And it's silicone, so it's probably going to be really easy to clean. Tons of bibs, which is going to be nice too. Alright, so in this bottom drawer we have his blankets. Um, the ones on the left were like handmade by family members, so they're very special to us. And then this one, and then there's a few more like softer ones there, and then three extra ones. So he has tons and tons of warm and like fuzzy blankets. So on the right side of his dresser in his top drawer are all of his shorts, and I have them labeled like zero to three three to six up to nine to twelve um, and then as he gets bigger I can just take these labels off and then relabel them with the bigger sizes but yeah here are his shorts guys I'm just oh I just die everything is so tiny I just I can't like seriously oh my god and then these are my favorite 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 pair the little sharks on them love it in this drawer are all of his pants and they're labeled the exact same way as his shorts so zero to three three to six six to nine nine to twelve you see these <laughs> so adorable but these are my favorite <laughs> the army uniform these are actually the old army uniform i actually wore this pattern like the acus when i was in the army but now they're different we actually have the matching hat and like the shirt that goes with it and i just can't wait till ivan takes a picture with him <laughs> and wearing his uniform and him wearing this it's gonna be adorable the last drawer and the bottom drawer in his dresser um, are some like extra sheets that we have for his crib, his pack and play sheets, his docketot extra cover, it's like a spare cover, and then his changing table spare little sheet that goes on there. So that is all that is in his dresser. On the left side of the room, so this is the left side of his dresser is his changing table area so this shelf is from the same store um, on Etsy that we got the shelf that's above his rocking chair then here's a little message board I think I got that from Target and we'll probably use that for like his milestone stuff like that and then um, this little ABC a B to Jay Z book teaches him his ABC's and we just thought it was really funny it's actually hilarious and we'll probably end up putting more stuff up there but for right now that's just what we have and then below that shelf is this golden like wood cutout elephant I got from Etsy too. Um, this sign we fell in love with. This is like the exact saying that we wanted for his room to go like above his changing table. And this is so pretty. Let me zoom in for you guys. It's so nice. It's like a light gray distressed wood. Got that from Etsy as well. Pretty much like a lot of the decorations in here are from Etsy. You can find so many cool unique things off of there. And these triangle wooden shelves are from Etsy too. This is from Etsy. Um, the girl that makes these makes so many cute little crochet animals and I just like the little gray elephant. And then I think I got that plant from Target or Home Goods. I just want to show you really quick his diaper pail. It's the Munchkin diaper pail and the reason why we got it is because it had the best reviews and supposedly it's the best like to control odor so we just got that one and it's nice because it has like refill bags that smell good and then it has like little arm and hammer pucks that are scented that like smell good too so it's like supposed to be the best so I will let you guys know after using it for a while how we like it 
So below the wall decor I just showed you guys is his changing table. Um, we got the actual changing table itself. It's the brand Baby Leto, and I think we got it off Overstock too. And then his changing pad we got from I think Babies R Us. And this personalized um, changing table sheet cover <laughs> is from Carousel Designs. I have these awesome like extra little storage compartments right here. Um, I don't really know what to put in them because I have everything pretty much put away. This is a little personalized blanket that says Milo Grease on it. And back here we got lingerie bags to put his um, socks in so when we wash them, we don't lose them because I heard you lose baby socks very easily. And then this right here is just my mini diaper bag that I got from Hap Brand. I just thought it was cute because it's just small so I need to make a quick errand and I don't want to carry his big diaper bag that I have or my, my little handbag purse. I thought this was cool to just to take with us to like attach to his stroller. The first drawer of his changing table, we have all of his diapers. These are all size one. We do have newborn sizes as well, but we're pretty sure he's going to be a big baby. So we just put all size one in there. I have a like diaper cart right over here, which I'll show you guys in a second. But we just thought it would be easier to just stuff this drawer full so we can just open it and pull them out as we go. And we thought it would be easier to like restock them so that's why all of his diapers are in here in the second drawer of his changing table are all of his sleepers um, I have it labeled from 0 to 6 and then 6 to 12 months so we can stay organized the feet are sharks like do you see that oh my god little monkeys little giraffes oh they're so so cute and last but not least are his swaddles. We have all of his swaddles right here in this drawer. And that's why I like hanging up all of his like onesies, t-shirts, and jackets because it gives us so much more drawer space. So we can just lay these in there, rolled up, flat, and very organized. The right of the drawers on his changing table is this little cabinet right here. And it has a shelf in here, which is nice. Um, we have all of his bath stuff in here. Like, when I say bath stuff, I mean all of his washcloths, his extra shampoo and baby wash. And then on the bottom shelf, we have his towels. I was like, okay, we have this really beautiful changing pad with this cute cover on it. How are we going to keep it clean? And then I saw, um, I forget where I saw these, but I saw someone talk about these waterproof liners. So you just put these on top of the changing pad. He has accidents, they're waterproof. So I'll let you guys know if these work and if they're worth it. And on the shelf below that, we have all of his bath towels. I just folded them up flat and put them in here. I especially love this towel. We got it personalized from Pottery Barn Kids and it is so, so soft too. Right next to his changing table, we put this little diaper cart. Um, it's actually a utility cart from Ikea and I got it off Amazon. I just thought it'd be nice to have this here so we can keep everything, you know, that we need in the drawers and cabinets and then just keep all of his like diaper stuff right there. So let me show you what we have on it. All right, so on the first shelf, the top shelf, we have stuff that I think that Ivan and I will reach for the most often. So I, we put it on the top shelf, but it's, it might change once we are parents and like realize like what we use more. But this is just what we have for now. Um, this is a wipe warmer, which I heard comes in handy. And I mean, what little baby wants a cold wipe on his butt? So we have a wipe warmer right there. This little jar right next to it, just some butt paste. We just have a huge bottle of hand sanitizer right here, just so we can always have clean hands. Then I have another one of these Ikea little um, organizing uh, compartment thingy and we have the um, baby bum spoon we actually have several of these <laughs> we have one here um, one in the living room and his changing little thing out there and then we actually found these in the minis so for our diaper bags we're gonna have these for his butt paste too um, some aquaphor healing ointment um, baby powder and some Aveeno baby lotion. That is the top shelf. So moving on to the second shelf, we have um, I think about six packs of water wipes and then these Honest wipes um, from the Honest Company and they're like for our diaper bags, it's just like 10 wipes each. So we can just like keep refilling our diaper bags instead of having to carry these huge packs of wipes because I just don't want my diaper bag to be too heavy, you know? And on the right right here is just this little glass container I got from Walmart. Just to put some of his binkies in, we have half of his binkies in here and then the other half of his binkies in the same type of glass jar in our kitchen. So in this marble container right here are baby Q-tips. And I believe I got this little marble container um, from Walmart. 
And then in this little container that I got from Ikea, it's the same set that was in his um, dresser drawer. Let me take this out so I can show you. So in here we just have um, stuff I'm pretty sure we're going to be reaching for pretty often. I'm sure it's going to change once, you know, I am a mom and I know like what he needs what we need to use the most often but this is what we have for now um we have the nose frida i'm honestly i'm not sure how i feel about it i'm like uh i don't know but i'm gonna give it a try so many of my friends and family have recommended the nose frida so we're definitely gonna give it a try and see so we definitely don't want to clip his nails i don't know i'm too nervous i've been too nervous so we're going to file them and see how that goes um, so we just got the little nail Frida files, some boogie mists, boogie wipes, um, his little brush. I cannot wait to brush his hair. So here is a forehead thermometer, and here we have gripe water. I honestly had no idea what this was. My best friend Erica actually gave this to me at my baby shower. It was a part of my gift, and she said that this is like the best thing ever. So I'm very excited to try it if we need it. Um, but yeah, I've heard so many great things about this. So if you guys have used this, let me know. Leave me a comment um, down below and let me know how you like the bright water. And down here on the bottom shelf um, are all of his receiving blankets. We just put them all there because we just thought it'd be easier for us to grab. And I'm pretty sure we got all of these from Target. Moving on to closet number two. So up here on this top shelf, we just have boxes and boxes and boxes of diapers. From size newborn to four, we really stocked up. So yeah, right below all of his diapers are the rest of his clothes, like his onesies and jackets and tops. Um, and it goes from newborn up to six months. And like I said, guys, I know he has a lot of clothes. And I know some of you are going to say he will not use all of them. I know that. We were just very, very, very excited. Um, this has been such a blessing for us to be able to have him. Um, and definitely the clothes we don't use we'll be giving, you know, to family members or even keeping them in case we do have a second child or um, donating them. So I just can't even get over it, some of these clothes, you guys. Like, seriously, look. This has avocados on it. Oh, I die. I just love baby clothes. It's so cute. In this closet, we also have the label organizers that we got from Amazon. So it makes it very easy and keeps it very organized. Right below all of his clothes, you'll notice this little elephant right here. Um, it's like a nightlight, and I just thought it was cute to hang right there. And then below that, we actually have this cube shelf that we got from Target. I'll show you guys like everything in just a minute. Um, but these are the rest of his shoes. Uh, right here. I even had a lot of fun picking out little shoes. It's so cute because they have a lot of matching shoes So I'm like, oh my god, so adorable for like dad and son pictures, right? I'm a little closer on some of his shoes <laughs> Aren't they so cute guys? Love them Like seriously, I die <laughs> And these little Nikes Of course I had to get him the Roshis to match my Roshis Some Chucks, some Adidas, some Jamboree You know he is going to be so fly. When I showed you guys a little sneak peek of his nursery tour on Instagram, some of you guys were like, what is that like doll standing in his closet? <laughs> and it is a life-size baby Groot from, um, I think Guardians of the Galaxy or something. I even bought it for him, brought it home, and I was like, oh my god. So we just keep him right there. It's super cute and it's actually really cool. I actually really like it. Libby doesn't like it very much so she stays away from him but <laughs> I thought it was going to be really cool for him for when he's a little older too so he'll have like a little buddy. I just have one of my diaper bags right here hanging on the door. This is from Hap Brand. I actually talked about this on my Instagram a few times. Um, the little miniature one that I just showed you guys before is the same, like the little miniature blush one, um, the same brand. This is the backpack and it's very spacious, so thumbs up this video if you guys want me to do a, like a what's in my diaper bag video, because I will. On the other door hanging right here, just for now, is Milo's hospital bag. Um, I have to fill it up still, so if you guys have any suggestions or like stuff that I should really have with me at the hospital, please let me know because I kind of kind of have an idea but I feel like I don't want to forget anything so please let me know give me any suggestions um, down below and I got that from Cowpack so like I said before the little like cube shelf that his shoes are on we got from Target and the little baskets we got from Target too and we just have some extra storage which is super nice so I'm gonna show you guys what we have in there so here we are in the top left drawer we have some little teething toys back here is like his little travel kit here is one of his webinars so cute and then back there 
there in the very back is some like extra wipes so in the middle drawer on the top we have some more extra things uh, I don't know why these little sandals are in here <laughs> I think we threw them in the wrong one um, but we just have like extra hair brushes some more q-tips um, the nose pretty refills so the last top drawer are all of his hats all of his other little hats too some sun hats fedoras yeah so that's all that is in this drawer and in this bottom left hand drawer we have his milestone stickers um his little baby footprints and handprints and then an extra piggy bank the bottom middle drawer we have some of his little toys um like those soft plush toys we have in here and then we have a bunch of these little blankets um, and some of his like, little stroller toys as well. So these are just extra toys for his stroller. In the bottom right drawer, we have another one of those little message boards right here. It's like a hexagon. And then we just have like the extra letters that go with it. And the box to his little camera, which I'll show you guys right now, just so we know how to use it. So that is all for these drawers. So to the left of his second closet, we have this glass bookshelf which I know for right now it's going to be fine, but once he's a toddler, we'll switch it out and put this in the living room and put something a lot safer in here. But for right now, this is what we really like. So on the top shelf of his little bookcase, we have this round mirror, which I think I got from Overstock. And right here is like a metal balloon dog that I got off Amazon. This gold little palm tree. We just thought it would look cute in here, so we put that right here. I think I got this from Home Goods or at home one of those and then we got this cute little picture that says but first milk which I got from Etsy and I believe I got the frame from Target right next to that are my favorite little wooden animals guys I was trying to find this designer and this brand for so long and I finally found them on house.com and they are made by a designer called Lucy Koss, I believe. But I will definitely link it down below for you guys. But aren't they like the cutest things ever? Oh, I love them. Moving on to the second shelf. We have this picture of Milo from his second ultrasound. It's our favorite one of him. So we put that right there. We have some of his books right here. Um, and then this book end we got from West Elm. And this mirrored M we got from At Home. I believe we got this fake owl plant from Target. Oh, I think we got it from Target. If not Target, Home Goods. That is everything on the second shelf. Hello, third shelf. <laughs> so the first thing on the left is his little Fujifilm Polaroid camera. We thought it would be fun like when he gets older and so we take him to the zoo. Like So he has his own camera and, you know. So to the right of his little camera, we have these real roses that actually last a year. They're from J'adore La Fleur. And then next to the roses, we have this little um, elephant, like, I guess, figurine. We got this from Target. Next to the elephant, we have little Liberlu. We were just like, okay, we have to have a picture of his sister in his nursery. <laughs> so we put that there and put this picture in this picture frame that we got from Home Goods. It's like an acrylic uh, picture frame and it's magnetic, so just thought it was cool. On the shelf below that, we have this little cactus we got from Target. This beautiful elephant piggy bank that we got as a gift from my aunt. It's from Tiffany and Company, and oh, it's just perfect. I love it so much. That's right there for now until he can start grabbing things, and then I'm pretty sure we'll put it like up higher. And then to the right of the elephant piggy bank are some more of his books right here. And again, we got this book end from West Elm. And on the bottom shelf, we have this um, glass, like, little box right here that I got from Target. I don't know what we're going to put in it yet. I just thought it was neat. And I even actually found this little, like, dinosaur, like, skull head from at home. And so we put that there. That's what I love about um, his nursery is that Ivan and I decorated it together. That's what was really cool about it is we made it so unique to us and to Milo. So yeah, I thought it was so cool that he wanted to be so involved in like, you know, the decorating process. He's such a good husband. I love him so much. And then next to the little dinosaur head are his little like wooden stack rings. I got these from Pottery Barn Kids. The reason why I got these exact silver and gold ones is because when you bought these, I think they donated 20%, yeah, 20% of the cost of the product to St. Jude's. I was like, okay, we're definitely getting these because I want to donate to St. Jude's, such an amazing hospital. 
And that is everything on his bookshelf. To the left of his bookshelf is the door to his room. And we have his little bathrobe. It's so sweet. It's a little shark <laughs> bathrobe. It even has the teeth and the shark thing. This was a gift from my baby shower and it actually has his name on it. And then on the handle of the door is Ivan's um, diaper backpack. And then behind that is this little... Um, diaper storage thing which we actually have newborn diapers in here that we got from um, a baby shower so we have those in here just for now all right so that is the end of Milo's nursery tour what did you guys think am I missing anything um, anything important that we need <laughs> um, let me know leave me a comment down below and again thank you guys for your constant love and support it never ever goes unnoticed and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!